there and welcome to this very special edition of Coshocton Conversations. I'm your host Kirby Hossman and uh, we're doing this for the Ohio's Heart website where we get a chance to meet uh, the two mayoral candidates for this year's election cycle. I really appreciate Mr. Mayor Steve Mercer taking the time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. So I want to dig right into the questions. Um, you, you and I, in the interest of transparency, transparency served while I was on council. Um, you, you have, have been, been mayor for three, three terms, terms now. now. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I'm curious, curious why did you decide to run again? Well, well I, think I think the main reason is because, because there, I, want I want to finish, finish some projects and initiatives that have been underway actually for years. years. Uh, before, before being elected, elected mayor, mayor I was, I was on council, council for three terms, terms and that's, that's where you kind of started to get your feet wet and understand how government works. Uh, when, when I started as mayor, my first term was when, when the recession started. Uh, not, not just for Coshocton, but for all the United States, States and they really hurt Coshocton for a while. Uh, five, five, six years before we started, started feeling any kind of recovery. So if there wasn't much to do other than just try to lead through the storm, which we did. Came, came out, out on the other side, side of it, and now, now we've been, been able to uh, actually uh, finish in the black, which, 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 which we have, but there was very little money. <laughs> now that we have uh, been very fiscally responsible, we've been able to look at projects to do and things in the community, and so trying to finish those projects, some of which take actually years to get up and running. Uh, so, so to be able to see those things through is my primary responsibility. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. So let's, uh, you know me, I'm a glasses half full guy. So mm -hmm. I, let's start with that. What, what do you think uh, some things that you see that are going well in the community? Well, well I, I think, think absolutely, absolutely one of the first, first things is jobs. Is jobs. Mm -hmm. um, we, we have some, some great, great jobs here. here. During, during the middle of the recession, recession or during, during the height of the recession, recession our unemployment, unemployment rate was 15.3 percent. Yeah. It, it is now fluctuated between 4.0 and 4.3 percent. According to the Federal Reserve, uh, full employment and an economic uh, time is either 5.0 or 5.2 percent. That means here in Shockton, we actually have had what would be considered full employment. So, so, though we, we have lost good factory jobs, jobs without question, uh, but we have also grown the ones that we've had, and, and we've incentivized them to be able to stay here, such as the Kraft Foods. Mm -hmm. uh, they were uh, a place that had about 250, 275 employees, now there were 700, and did a $50 million expansion uh, because we incentivized when they were looking to see whether they were going to close our plant or one in another state, they ended up accepting our offer. So those are the kind of things I think are going very well. The other part that I would add besides just the jobs is cleaning up the community. We've done some things such as create, created property maintenance uh, legislation for what we expect homeowners and business people to keep their properties. We've uh, recently enacted vacant property uh, or instance, so, so that somebody just doesn't buy something and hold on to it forever. That's, that's what their philosophy is, they're going to pay every year mm -hmm. to do that. And uh, we're, we're also able, able to create a property code investigator position, mm -hmm. which, which has been very effective in helping, helping to clean up things as simple as junk cars, but also get, get people to clean up their properties. And we've done, done a lot through demolitions mm -hmm. working mm -hmm. in this department. So, so those, those are some things, some things that, that I think are going very well. well. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And the the just to kind of mm -hmm. add to that, the some of the ordinances that you just addressed, they're fairly new, right? Like, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean sometimes those take time to to start to see the results of. Is that fair? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. okay. And, and, and part, part of that, that is because, because as, as I said, said uh, we, we were, were in the depths of recession. recession. Sure, we're, we're doing, doing everything we can, can just to kind of stay alive, mm -hmm. working with all our departments and other elected, elected officials like our auditor to be really fiscally yeah. terribly tight, we had to be. So, so there's not time, there's not money to do anything sure. at that point. Now that that has begun to bounce back for us, and the businesses have bounced back, and employment is up, uh, it has enabled us to be able to look at things to do, um, and start 
now, now managing, managing from, from a different, different standpoint, standpoint yeah. than, than when we initially started. started. No, that's fair. That's fair. Um, so what are some things you want to see us continue to change as a community? Well, well I, I think, think uh, we're, we're ever changing. changing. I've, I've always, always said, said we're not going, going to be our grandfather's, grandfather's community anymore. I, I know I'm, I'm not, not a local. local. Mm -hmm. I, I, I came, came here about 40 years ago. ago. Uh, but I'm not a local, so a lot of people re remember the days when Main Street was such and such, and there were cars everywhere, and people used to cruise cruise the streets. Uh, we'll probably never be that again, so we're always looking for when we are reinventing ourselves and what will be our priorities. Um, we're always looking for that. However, I will say that concerning Main Street particularly, uh, that's one of the things I think we need to continue to change. Our town for Shockton is a group that has been very fervent, that we have supported to uh, establish it as a downtown historic area that has allowed for people that own buildings in that area, that if they want to, they can pursue very generous tax credits, allowing them to, to uh, work on their building, fix them up. And so we're looking forward to that. We have one that has already started that. And we're hoping that uh, they are what we call a snowball sure. that will get everybody else to rolling too. Yeah, we very much appreciate the work our town has done for sure. Yes. Um, so what are some of the projects that you want to tackle? You sort of addressed that in the first uh, answer, but what are some things you'd like to tackle if reelected? Well, specifically, probably the, the, big, the big one that uh, I have been in my head for 15 years, even when I was on, on uh, the serving on city council since I've been mayor. Don't, don't have the wherewithal to do it, now we're headed that direction. And that is the riverfront, multi-use, uh, walk-bike path. Mm -hmm. It is something that uh, we're looking to connect Lake Park to the city, mm -hmm. so the residents in the city don't have to drive over to Lake Park. They can, they can either ride their bikes, they can walk, they can uh, park somewhere here in the city and then take a path across the one way bridge. And, and get, get over, over to Lake Park. Park. But, but apart, apart from, from that, that, we have a beautiful, beautiful area, as we know. The rivers, the rivers are just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. But, but we, we haven't been able to take advantage of that, both for our residents to enjoy but, and for, for tourists coming in. Sure. So, so a riverfront walk path, path is something that um, we are really pushing, pushing now and have been uh, to, to be able to have it come down from the 180 bridge down Water Street, behind the Village Inn Suites, suites. Mm -hmm. and, and then, then run alongside the river, river down, down by the high school uh, football field and, and such. And, and then we're going to plan on being able to bring it across 2nd Street, Street. Mm -hmm. okay. to make, make sidewalks, sidewalks. Okay. Uh, which, which we, we don't, don't have on 2nd Street, Street now, and to get, get all the way down, down by our sewer plant where we also have our river front. Okay. So, so that's, that's, that's kind of a big project. We've already retained an engineering firm that has done some of the drawings for how it would work. And the, the next, next step, step is, uh, part, part of the plan, plan includes creating a Veterans Memorial Park okay. that, that would be behind the Village Inn Suites okay. uh, in honor of all of our veterans. Mm -hmm. So, so I've, I've, over, over, over the last year, I've met with, with the Veterans Association. I'll be meeting with them again soon to talk about what the design of that could be uh, as we go forward there. there. The, the other, other project, project besides uh, that uh, multi-use path, mm -hmm. bike and walk path, is uh, we, we have really opened the door to be a regional water supplier. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, by the establishing of a historic agreement with West Lafayette, yeah. uh, and, and then accepting that we will be a supplier to them. Uh, that's, that's the first step in us being able to use the resources that we have, our number one asset, our water plant, our sewer plants, to be able to use them to share in the whole community and to give it to not only much needed areas where people are desperate for good water, but also, uh, as it says about development, development follows the water and sewer lines. So as we're able to expand those lines into or outside the city, uh, it, it helps, helps with, with development, development for everybody. everybody. Mm -hmm. So those are those are two very specific mm -hmm. and very pretty big projects. So how how will you fund them? Well, uh, uh, funding, funding is always always the issue. issue. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we, we, we as a city, city do not have, have the funds, funds yep. just, just to, to tackle those, those kind of things. things. But one, one of the things, things that is an advantage to being in the position that I am for a while is that you learn where those sources are. And in this case. 
Uh, we, we are, are always, always looking, looking for not only just loans, but grants mm -hmm. uh, to be able to fund them. And in this case, I'll say the West Lafayette Project. We've been able to do that because of the high EPA has seen that as we were rated the number one project in all of Ohio wow. okay. for, for everybody that submitted projects to Ohio EPA. Okay. We were rated the number one because it's regionalizing, which is what they want, mm -hmm. and uh, it eliminated a, a plume source that they were always. So the high EPA is awarded as 50 percent loan forgiveness on that loan and giving us the balance of the loan at zero percent. Wow. Okay. So these are things that, you know, we apply, we've made personal appearances, we've talked to the top leadership team uh, by doing that. So there's people like that. There's the ODOT. Uh, Department of Transportation has what's called TAP funds, the Transportation Alternative Projects. And they can help with like walk pass, uh, and a riverfront path, but there are many, many other kind of sources, and uh, we have them. I've met with, I think, everybody that's been a part of those kind of organizations. I'll say that I serve on uh, the executive board of the Ohio Mid-East Government Association, called Omega. It's a 10-county development area, and federal funds flow from the feds to the state to this 10 county area, okay. we submit the project. And so there's funding that comes there, but there are other multiple uh, agencies. And that's one of the things that it takes a little while to figure out not only where do they come from, but who's the people we need to talk to. Fair. Okay. Okay. So let's, let's, I always like this question. Let's look into the crystal ball, right? Four years in advance, uh, four years in the future, where do you see Kashat? Well, well, for one, I'd like to think, to think that uh, Main Street, Street will have a different appearance. Mm -hmm. That uh, what the snowballer <laughs> has started, <laughs> that other people will join in. And I know that there's uh, at least one other, other company that is in the process of rehabbing and building on Main Street. Street. Yes. So, so I see that, that as working. working. And, and I think, I think that, that uh, success breeds success. success. Some, some people see it, uh, something going on, and they feel like, wow, this is worth investing in. Now is the time for entrepreneurs to step forward and say, wow, this is like buy low, sell high. This is the buy low. You can get in on Main Street and consider what your niche is that we can turn Main Street. Our town to Shotgun has just done a fantastic job of trying to upgrade and create the environment for that. So that's one thing that I would, I would really like to be able to see. And we encourage that and work with them very closely uh, on all their endeavors, endeavors like that. that. Uh, that's so that's, that's, that's a good one. one. That's a good one. I think I think most of us want to see uh, the Main Street to continue to grow. And like you said, there's there, we're starting to see that, but it would be good to see more of that. So that's good. Um, final thoughts. So um, final question for you. So you get, get off the hot seat. I appreciate Ooh. it. Um, but what are some final thoughts you'd like to leave with voters? Well, I, I think, think that uh, probably one of the most, most important is that being, being mayor, mayor mm -hmm. Uh, is a team, team effort. Mm -hmm. um, I realize that, that I'm the point, point person. Right. So, so I get the credit, I get the slam. I get, the slam. <laughs> I, I I get, get it all. all. Uh, and, and the people, people will, will uh, focus, focus on me as the point, because I am mm -hmm. uh, the leader in that sense. But, but this, this is very much a team effort. effort. It, it takes, takes lots of people to make it happen. happen. And, and you, you have, have to surround yourself with good people, which I believe that I have. I have people that uh, were plant managers, people that have uh, very impressive credentials in their field, that are department heads and really know and understand how to do things. Uh, being in business for uh, 43 years that I was, I, it's been a pretty much lifelong pursuit of mine to try and establish good relationships and to be a part of the community, not just be in it, to be a part of it. And I've always felt like it's my responsibility to give back to the community. When um, you look at how a mayor has to operate, it's, again, it's, it's not an independent type position. It just requires so much connection. And establishing relationships is so critical that it, it's not something you want to do on the fly in a position. You want to 
have, have done, done that, that in your lifetime. lifetime I, I hope, hope so, so that, that you establish relationships with business people that you may have to go to and say, what can we do to partner together on this? It's maybe establishing relationships with uh, other government agencies and government officials that you have to work with. Uh, we have an excellent relationship with our county commissioners. We've worked on many, many projects together, including when we consolidated our utility systems. Uh, so having those kind of relationships is so critical because a mayor cannot do it by himself. It is a team effort. And uh, for that, I, I, I would just like to conclude, I guess, by saying I'm very grateful that uh, Kishakin has supported me uh, in my effort to lead the city. I feel like uh, we've led it through the most difficult time. And now there are things that we're doing that we hope are going to continue to take it forward and to change. Um, and the uh, faith that I have uh, has led me up down a path that is I'm really here to serve, not to be served. So I would like to be able to serve another term and uh, hopefully the completion of these things that we've talked about. So thank, thank you very much. much. Hey, thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it. All right. Thank cool. you. All right. Well, that is going to wrap up this special edition of Coshocton Conversations. We'll see you next time. <laughs>